Friends will say, oh, I had to turn on my heater the other day. It's getting cold. And I'm like, Psh. What's up, YouTube? It's Chris from Out West with Chris, and I'm back with another unboxing. This one, as you can see, is Hunt Vault. So this is my second box from Hunt Vault. First box I was pretty pleased with. I uh, thought it was, uh, you know, pretty good value. Had some good items. I just got another box that I opened, kind of a hunting themed box called Hunter's Hall. I'll put a link in the description down below. You guys can compare those, um, you know, and got options. There's there's options out there for hunting subscription boxes. So anyways, do your research, look into it if it's something you're interested in. I got this cool beanie uh, from Hunter's Hall and a couple other items that were all right, pretty good stuff. But now on to the main attraction. Let's unbox Hunt Vault. This is the October box. I'm really late on opening this. I was up in Idaho doing some hunting and I wasn't around when this thing showed up. So, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. And I'm barely getting around to unboxing it. It's like 10 p.m. I gotta go to bed soon. Check it out, that's camo. And it looks like you've got one, two, three, four, five items. And yeah, the box value is stated at $86. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the camo edition of Hunt Vault for the month. Looks like there's some pretty cool items in here to just, just at a glance, it looks pretty good. Um, first thing uh, up, this is the Drake duck tote. Okay, so I guess what you do with this, it, it sounds like and looks like, um, you know, you can hook your ducks up to this and haul them out of uh, the field and have free hands. I used to always hunt with the, the type of, you know, when I would bird hunt, um, I'd hunt with the type of vest that had the pouch in the back, you know? That was great for quail and pheasant hunting. You just put the birds in the back after your dog retrieved them and, you know, that type of thing. Um, I guess with ducks, and depending on where you're at, some of the limits can actually be pretty huge. You know, you can limit out and have a ton of birds. So having something like this, um, you know, you can, it says you can carry two full-size mallards on each one. You know, I'm sure you could actually use this for a wide variety of um, applications too. Uh, pretty cool. I'd like to get into doing some more duck hunting. The area I live in, you know, it's just good spot for duck hunting in general. And one of these days I want to try out kayak, uh, duck hunting for my kayak. So I got to look into that. I got to do some research. It'll probably be next year before I get to do something like that. So anyways, uh, pretty cool little item. Value on that is $14, and I think that that's probably pretty accurate. So, a uh, cool little item, something I would have never bought, but uh, something that I have now, maybe I'll use it, you know, if I get into doing some waterfowl type hunting. So, okay, cool. Up next is this. We've got another item from Tree Spider. I believe they're the folks that we got that uh, safety line from. Um, last month. Like I've said a couple times, I'm not much for hunting from a stand. I, you know, I just don't do it. I've never done it. With that said, I don't have a lot of input on an item like this. I can tell you that that rope I got last month, that safety line, that was quality material um, just because I kind of have an idea of what good rope should look like and that type of stuff. This looks like a pretty solid strap just looking at it. And it looks like something that, uh, you know, you would use to strap your tree stand onto a tree just to make it really tight and safe and, you know, not going to fall off. But I'm not positive. Uh, anyways, this looks like a good item. And yeah, maybe I'll do a giveaway. I don't know. Let me think about that. I'm probably never going to use this, so, you know, maybe I can give this away to a subscriber who would. 
This is all spur of the moment. I'm gonna have to pay for shipping and all that crap, but let's just do it. Okay, we're gonna do a giveaway. I, as you can tell, I've been drinking. Maybe this is against my better judgment. Anyways, this thing is valued at $25. The tree spider tree strap. It's a one and five, let's start over. It's a one and five eighths inch webbing strap with adjustable buckle for varying tree size. Strong webbing loop for quick connection on the carabiner. And it's supposed to blend in well with the surrounding. So if you want this, if you'll use this, you need to be a subscriber. Comment down below that you want it and I'll, uh, just comment below and I'll, yeah, do some random comment picker or whatever and we'll sort out the details from there. So I'll have more information once I kind of sort it out in my head in the description below. If you want this, if you'll use it, comment below, let me know, and I'll give this thing away. That looks like a pretty quality item. Like I said before, I just don't hunt from a stand, so I'm not gonna use it. Might as well give it to somebody who will. Okay, next up, the Hawk Hunting Tactical Solo Tree Hook. So this is a, a tree hook. This again is something that's used for hunting from a tree stand, but I can actually think of applications where I can use this personally. Um, you know, for for other types of things. This could actually come in handy for me for other item for other applications. So I'm not gonna give this one away. Anyways, this is a six dollar value. The tactical hook features extra sharp auger tip threads that start fast enough for easy screwing into hardwoods. Weighs just 2.1 ounces. It is super light, and it can hold up to 60 pounds. Oh, that smells good. So this is Hunt Vault flavored coffee. Assorted flavors include mountain maple, rum and whiskey, and toasted almond. And I got the rum and whiskey. This coffee smells so good. Four ounces of coffee. Man, that smells so good. I can't wait to try this out. Um, yeah, maybe this weekend I'll uh, I'll make a make a pot and you know, give it a shot. So that smells good. I don't know if this is something that they're gonna sell. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to check their website out and see if this is something they'll have for sale. You know, if you like it, you can always get more. Um, so that's cool when, you know, companies do something like that. So that's a $5 value. It's a little bit on the light side to be $5, but it is custom coffee. So, hey, you know. So that is four items. Last but not least, we got something sharp. Sweet. This is the uh, Utica Cutlery Real Tree Gut Hook Skinner. So it's got a nylon sheath. Um, it's pretty compact. It's got the gut hook and you know skinning blade. That looks pretty cool. I'm not sure what that handle's made out of, but it looks pretty nice. See if we can figure that out. The blade is hand honed from 400 grade stainless steel and it's got a high impact plastic handle. And it says it's got an ergo ergonomically designed blade for perfect palm and thumb placement, finger guard, lanyard hole, razor sharp stainless steel skinning blade, full tank instruction. And yeah, the sheath comes with it. Let's take it out and take a look. So that's pretty cool. Um, definitely something you're gonna wanna sharpen before you need to rely on it and use it. Uh, but nice, compact, um, you know, really good. Fits, fits well in the hand, good for skinning. So it's probably not the best skinner you're gonna get, but the fact that this is in a what is this, a 30 something dollar box? I mean, that's pretty awesome. All in all, pretty good combination of items. You get a duck hunting item, you get the skinning item, get the little hook, and this tree spider um, strap that I'm gonna give away to somebody, which is just totally crazy of me, and coffee. You know, the theme of this was camo, and I guess this has a camo handle, and this is camouflaged. 
But I don't know how it all fits into the camo theme. I guess the strap is tan, so it should kind of blend in. I don't know. I guess that's being really picky of me. This is a pretty good box. I just think if you're gonna have a theme, you might as well have it kind of, you know, all playing together. But, hey, Hunt Vault, good box. Um, uh, yeah, cool items. And yeah, keep up the good work. It, I've been pretty pleased so far with uh, the Hunt Vault variety and the items that have been in the boxes. They're saying the value is $86. Seems pretty reasonable. So, good job, Hunt Vault. That's all I got. If you like what you see, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe. And as always, thanks for getting out west with Chris. So I know you all are probably thinking, why are you wearing a beanie in your house, dude? Well, I'm kind of a weirdo, and if I can avoid turning on my heater in the fall, I'll go as long as I possibly can avoiding turning on my heater, just because, you know, I kind of pinch pennies a little bit in some areas, and I guess that's one area, and it's kind of like a pride thing, you know, my friends will say, oh, I had to turn on my heater the other day, it's getting cold, and I'll be like, Psh.